I'm Jay Gibbs. I'm a Professionals Choice. I'm hanging out here with my buddy Colt. We're going to show everybody, demonstrate to everybody, how to properly put on the clinician halter and the great features of the new halter. Put your clinician halter on correctly. You're going to untie it. It's very important that you ensure that it's got the right fit before you tie it on. So you're going to reach around, slide the nose band over the nose, and bring it all the way up where it's a nice snug fit. You throw it latch, you come around. It shouldn't really constrict, but it shouldn't be that loose as well. There's the knots here, you want them to sit exactly where they're on the nose right there. And that's in order for it to be more effective. You slide it around. This is extremely important is how you tie it and where you tie it. You bring it right around the loop and back through, but you want it below the knot here. You do not want it above the hook. Okay, if it's above the hook, once it does tighten up or anything, it's going to be extremely hard to untie. And it will also affect the placement of the halter as far as how it's on. It's actually going to loosen and then the halter is going to be a, little, a bit loose on there. And we don't want that. So we're going to tie it all the way. Nice and snug right there. So if anything happens, horse sets back, anything like that, it's going to maintain its shape, its fit and it's affecting this. Another additive that we have to the clinician halters, we put, we used a 15 foot lead and we've got the poppers here. Most of your halters are 10 foot lead.